Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 13th, 2021. Friday the 13th. Oh my goodness. Well, good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you had a restful afternoon and ready for another day of bullish price action as we just kind of don't care about inflation. Markets hit new record highs yesterday. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Kind of an interesting, interesting um, day yesterday where we had producer prices just blow past estimates and the market just said, man, we don't care, um, and just surged on higher. Diamonds, uh, the Dow set new record highs yesterday and the S&P 500 set its 47th record high of the year, pushing back up as um, tech um, reversed from selling and lifted the market back up. So let's take a look at these charts. First off, we have to look, this is a, uh, there's absolutely no bearishness showing up in this chart. Very, very bullish, bouncing right off of price support, surging to the upside. Trends are definitely in play. The bulls are in control. About the only thing I can um, say as a word of caution here on the Dow is that we are, kind of separating from our averages here. This is, um, we're remarkably separated from our 200 day. And I, I can't say that um, um, this is a topping pattern in any way, shape or form yet. So just stay with the trend and trade with the trend, but be careful not to chase or over trade just in case we do happen to stumble at some point in time. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also extremely bullish. Big surge yesterday and we're trying to push a little bit more this morning. Um, very strong trend in the SPY. There's no, um, no indication here in the technicals that that is ready to end just yet. One thing I will point to, but I don't know that it matters all that much, is that volume is weak on this rally. Volume is weak. And <clears throat> I'll show you here in a bit our um, absolute breadth index is um, just remarkably weak as we continue to rally to the upside. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, QQQ also, um, we had early selling, we were pushing down and then um, we got a very swift and sudden reversal back to the upside um, on the NASDAQ you'll see here. And it, it seemed to happen all at the same time. Dow, um, there was just all of the big techs just suddenly, boom, just went back to the upside. So you can see we pushed down, we had broken, broken um, some support, but just all of a sudden, um, and it was pretty much to the to um, to perfection. Um, almost the same instant all, instance, all of big tech um, surged back to the upside, and you can see we had a really strong surge to the upside. So it was kind of an interesting day yesterday, pushing back up. Now big tech is what um, accounted for the majority of the lift in the SPY, setting that new record high. It was big tech doing all of that pushing and helped elevate the spy back up. If we take a look at IWM, IWM, once again, another tail. We pushed down yesterday, tried to push back up. Didn't quite make it out of there. Um, still show a little bit of um, uncertainty here in this price pattern, although it is consolidating, but these price candles are showing quite a little bit of uncertainty. And still below its 50-day moving average, and that continues to just kind of go sideways and flatten out here a bit. May start turning lower here before too long if we cannot push through. However, I do have to say this is an upside trend. So um, pretty remarkable how the resiliency of this market and the ability to just ignore 
um, inflationary data and um, you know other issues that we've seen crop up here in the market like like COVID. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we made a surge um, early on in the day, day. We were pushing up here pretty, pretty strongly. And then we saw just a little bit of selling coming in. And um, at one point in the day, we also kind of pushed back down into this area. But at the end of the day, we ended up resolving to the upside. And you can see we have a pretty good um, setup here for today. If we can find some bullish energy, there'd be no reason to believe that we couldn't push right on up here. There is room to the upside on T2122 um, if we can find that bullish energy um, or continue to find that bullish energy, I should say. And if um, we do happen to run into some trouble, we have little bit more space to the downside but right now bears just don't seem to be around and I suspect markets are going to want to finish out this week um, nice and strong so um, I wouldn't be surprised new record highs um, on uh, today's close so watch that carefully let's take a look <coughs> at our um, um, T2101 this continues to be um, all, uh, kind of alarming to me um, in that we are um, continuing to set new record highs with um, the markets, the breadth of the market being so weak. Um, it, it, it really is showing us that, are, that there are very specific stocks moving us to the upside. And... Um, those those numbers are dwindling if we take a look at t2107 which is the number of stocks above their 200 day moving average um the the number of stocks that are continuing to lift us are are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and with volume starting to decline as we rally getting just a little bit of concern about complacency building into this market however that said we have to stay with these upside trends until these trends end and there's no sign of that happening at this point but i will tell you that i think it's it is important to be careful not to chase overly extended stocks because those will be really painful if the market does pull back and it is also very important not to over trade this market and become complacent because i think we are starting to see some complacency build in let's take a look at the vix now the vix is pulling back and that is bullish for the market um, we're seeing that fear drop out of the market, but I'm beginning to wonder about complacency. And, and that is just because we just have this um, incredible capacity to ignore uh, bad news. So keep an eye on this um, as we push down here. Are we getting complacent? Maybe, maybe not. But watch that closely in case we do get some reason that um, those bears decide to wake up and, and do something here. Um, there's no suggestion here yet that they're ready to do so, though. So just keep that in mind. Stay with the current trends. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar does have a little bit for us to pay attention to. It's not big markup <clears throat> moving numbers this morning. But we do have import export prices and we do have consumer sentiment that we'll want to be paying attention to this morning. They will come out uh, throughout the morning. We've got import export. Now, <clears throat> I will say, apologize for the congestion here this morning. A lot of allergies. Um, <clears throat> so you can hear that in my voice. I apologize. If you take a look at import export prices, they're looking for a little bit of a decline in the consensus um, of that. So we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that. But I doubt that that's really going to affect the market right now. We seem to be fueled up, continuing to fuel up on um, earnings reports, um, market recovery, those kind of things. So keep a close eye on that. But hey, 
um, all, everything looks bullish um, as we move along. We do have a little bit of negative prints in the NASDAQ futures right now, but nothing that would warrant any major concern. Let's take a look at, um, <clears throat> pardon me, our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, we have a few things that we want to pay attention to on that today, but it's a lot lighter day. Um, overall we have um 71 companies listed on the calendar today but a good deal of those are unconfirmed and we don't really have much for notables today of any uh, you know uh, market moving style notables so vsta um, is reporting today again pff, uh, um, uh, wouldn't exactly call that notable. Um, SDPI, uh, again, not exactly a, a notable. Um, but these are confirmed reports amongst a whole bunch of unconfirmed reports. And we're seeing a lot of those uh, very small caps reporting today. So kind of keep that in mind. I, I doubt that we're going to get a whole lot of energy today from our earnings reports. If you want to take a look at the full list of notables, which there aren't many, just click um, that link just below the title of the video today, or uh, title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at some socks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And guys, if you find these videos to be useful, helpful to you as you plan your day, please click that subscribe button on you, or I mean that um, a thumbs up button and leave that brief comment um, because all of those little comments um, um, show engagement in the video and help the algorithm to show that video to more folks. And um, we continue to grow, crossing over 20, 23,000 in subscribers. And I just want to say thank you so much to you guys. I never would have in my wildest dreams thought that there would be uh, folks out there looking for content that wasn't full of hype and prediction. So thank you so much um, for supporting this channel. I truly appreciate it. And for those of you that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee, you guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome. It's helped me pick up some additional equipment and hopefully you'll start seeing some changes in these videos soon. Everyone, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading, but how about we take a look at some of these stocks and uh, that are looking pretty good and setting up. Now, yesterday I mentioned a, a chart in Fastenal and Fastenal, uh, you know, popped up beautiful upside pattern and we had a pullback yesterday. Now, this is something we've been talking about here recently in the Right Way Options class, and that is the back and forth that we're seeing in the market is making this quite challenging. We get very bullish signals, and then we get a stock pullback with a bearish um, candle pattern here in the chart. One thing I want to caution everyone on, if you're going to trade this market, we do, because of the volatility that we're seeing, we do have to have a good plan put together uh, for that trade. I've seen so many people get into a trade like this. They see this dark candle and they close the trade. And that's just before that chart has that opportunity to turn around and head back up. So watch that closely. If you're going to plan the trades, make sure you plan your trades to a stop loss where you can handle the risk underneath that price support and stick with your plan. I've been doing an awful lot of individual coaching here lately with folks that have been struggling quite a bit and this is one of those things that continue to crop up. So I still think Fastenal is a pretty good chart and it remains a good chart unless we break down below this support level and so I would be sticking with a trade like this um, um, until that shows me something different. But right now, Fastenal continues to be a pretty nice looking chart. Let's take a look at some of these retail stocks. My goodness, lots of retail stocks have been doing very, very well. And I think this chart in Deckers could be setting up. Notice we have a beautiful upside trend here. 
in that chart. And this nice little resting consolidation, notice it's very, very tight. We have a relatively easy trade to potentially get into. We want to wait for that bullish candle to show up. We want to wait for those bulls to show us that they can pop on through. So keep an eye on that. See if that can push on up. That's one I would have on my list. Maybe paying attention to and watching that closely. Let's take a look at these um, drug makers. With all of the uh, talk and conversation of bull, um, booster so shots being required here in the near future and opening up for the immune immune compromise right now for booster shots um, we're seeing um, these drug companies doing pretty well notice that j and j popped out of this nice little consolidation showing some strength so i'd keep an eye on that we could see these continue to surge on higher you could add uh, pfizer to that list of potentials as well um, incredible upside trend here as you can see and still showing that bullishness in here that potential to move on higher um, so keep a close eye on those kind of stocks you might also want to keep an eye on um, some of the solar stocks take a look at first solar first solar breaking through some price resistance here in the chart looking pretty good and trying to hold up so if we can hold above this point of uh, price support this little any rest or consolidation in here that pulls us back could give us an opportunity to join in on that trade we know this administration really wants to support um, these renewables so watch that closely for solar might be something to pay attention to you might also want to take a close look at Disney today now I wouldn't want to taste chase Disney on a big jump here today Disney reported very very well and um, we still have a lot of questions out there related with this new um, surge in pandemic numbers but keep a close eye on this this breaking through this resistance level up here I do think is significant and I would wait for that next rest consolidation or pullback in here for that opportunity to the upside we know streaming services are becoming very very popular almost to the point that Disney is making more money um, from new movie releases in its streaming service than they are um, in theater releases. So keep a close eye on that. I think there's a, a major future here in that service. So watch that close. Um, you might want to take a look at Chewy. Chewy, I've been mentioning this for a while, as you guys um, will recall. Chewy has been dealing with some price resistance levels here in this chart. And we consolidated that move right out here. Notice we're holding on to this trend. We had a nice surge up here yesterday. So keep a close eye on that. And by the way, this is this is kind of that same thing that we were just talking about with Fastenal. Notice that we had this nice little price support in here. We get going here in that that candle and then it comes all the way back down and i've been seeing a lot of folks that will enter into that trade and because of this volatility they're really jumpy and um, they close that trade out just before that chart has that opportunity to really turn and go to the upside so keep a close eye on that chewy looking good here in that chart you might want to take a look at microsoft microsoft had a big surge yesterday if this continues this is a very very bullish pattern here holding in if it can follow on through and break out there may be more highs coming in um, microsoft also apple Apple had a huge surge up yesterday and working to break this downtrend here in the chart. And you can see we've been moving in this wedging pattern. So there's that pop through that wedge. Um, you could certainly try and take this trade now, but I think any any inside day, couple days of rest or something up in here that holds um, this support level in the chart would set up that opportunity to maybe continue moving higher in Apple. Some lower price tech that you might want to keep an eye on is Oracle. Oracle, whoops. Oracle looking good, holding in this consolidation. You can see I've got a price alert on this chart. Holding in here 
in this nice little tight move, if we can find that inspiration to push on through, I'd keep a close eye on that. Oracle looking pretty good, and it looks like we might re-engage some trend out here. So looking good overall. And last but not least, let's take a look at Cisco. Um, Cisco, whoops. Cisco um, also had a good day yesterday, pushing back up, pushing through some resistance in that chart. So I would say there is some opportunity here um, set up in Cisco, breaking and holding um, that support, breaking through this resistance and trying to follow through. So keep a close eye on that a little upside trend going on here. See if that can follow through to the upside with the bullishness that we're seeing in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend ahead. Everyone be safe out there. Doggone this this covid stuff causing us troubles again and creating mass requirements and all kinds of nastiness out there so be safe everyone and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have a great weekend